Today seemed like a good day to play with my solar scorcher. I positioned my frame and found the focal point, then added some concrete tiles as a base for my projects. Okay, I've got power, and I'll test it out with this piece of wood. And when the light makes contact, I've got instant fire. The sunlight at this spot is around 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, enough to melt this spot of concrete into a glowing orange liquid. I'm curious to see what I can do with all this heat, so I filled a glass bottle with water, and I'll punch a hole in the cap. It's incredible to see that the instant I focus my lens on the bottle, it starts smoking. Just a few moments later, this water is so hot it's boiling, and I'm a little nervous the bottle might blow. Yep, there it goes. The glass pieces are melting and that's cool, but now I want to try this on some food. I'll get some hot dogs, and when they hit the beam, they really do get hot. This might be a little well done for my taste, and I'm still hungry, so let's try an egg. The egg is actually working very well. It's so reflective it doesn't burn as fast, and even my wife is interested. A little salt and pepper, and it's tempting to try a bite. Okay, so I wasn't actually expecting to eat this, but it looks safe enough, and even my kids are anxious to try. Surprisingly, it's pretty good. All right, let's see what else this will do. I'll try burning a penny, and wow, it melted. How about a stack of pennies? Yep, they're nothing but liquid metal now, and I'm thinking that slag in the mixture must be what's left of the copper coating. It's only taking about four seconds to melt these, and melting metal is really great, but now I want to see something first. I wonder what would happen to this egg. It's spewing some kind of debris and smoking like crazy. I hear some little pops, and it's even forming some interesting growths. Oh, look at that. But no explosion. How about if I put a pop top on this bottle of water and let the pressure build up? Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Let's do that again. The lid is back on and pressure is building. Awesome. All right, the sun is setting and I've readjusted my A-frame. I'm just wondering if this would ignite gasoline. It does. Hopefully it goes without saying that this is very dangerous and you shouldn't try this at home. Well, I'm convinced there's an insane amount of power behind these lenses. 